Today, the US stock market could have another day of recovery following a long losing streak. Market sentiment on Wall Street depends on a consumer confidence. The benchmark indexes perked up in the New York pre market. Besides, the consumer confidence survey might revive the appetite for risk. <music> The U.S. stock market had a long awaited breather yesterday. The major stock index is close to the volatilization with the modest gains. The Dow Jones rose 92 points or 0.28 percent. The Nasdaq closed almost flat with a 0.01 percent uptick. And the S&P 500 closed 0.10 percent up at 3,821 points. The benchmark indexes were more optimistic in the pre market today. The Dow Jones noted the biggest gains. The information background is positive for recovery. The L in the ointment is the U.S. Consumer Confidence Index, which is due tonight. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the into the Canada between 3,790 and 3,920 points. The energy sector included in the S&P printed the strongest gain over 1.52 percent energy stocks over the strength of the rally in the oil market. The retail sector is a sharp in the weakest performance, having dropped 1.13 percent. The transport sector also is a trading under pressure. The reason is the bearish outlook for um, by J.P. Morgan for transport companies. Despite mixed trajectories, the stock indexes eventually managed to break or four-day losing streak and close in the green. The Bank of Japan jolted financial markets yesterday with its unexpected decision to revise its auto loss monitor policy. In response, U.S. Treasuries went down. Yields of the benchmark 10-year Treasuries rose to 3.71 percent, the highest level in three weeks. The Bank of Japan announced the hawkish shift in its monetary policy a week later after the ECB and the U.S. Fed increased interest rates in an effort to tame soaring inflation. As for economic calendar, housing starts in the U.S. fell to the lowest level in a two and a half years. Besides, building permits also went down because higher mortgage rates didn't buy an activity in the real estate market. Tesla shares stumbled 8% after at least three brokerage firms decreased the target price of the e-car manufacturer due to mounting fears about weak demand and the risks of Elon Musk keeping the CEO position in Twitter. On Tuesday, the saga went on. Musk said that he might step down as the Twitter CEO as soon as he finds his successor. Nevertheless, the intent to run a few division is a popular media platform. Wells Fargo shares fell 2% after the US watchdog ordered the lending institution to pay penalty over $3.7 billion for mismanaging consumer loans. Today, investors might find some relief in a good corporate news. Nike boosted moral among stock investors after it reported better than expected financial results. Nike stock jumped 12.6% in the pre-market after the sportwear manufacturer reported the strongest quarterly revenue for more than a decade. Sales were boosted by a robust pre Christmas shopping spree in North America. FedEx, that was to blame for massive selling on Wall Street in September, cancelled its financial forecast. Its shares climbed 4.7% after the company announced its plan to cut spending by $1 billion. With such low market quotes, investors are clinging to any hope that the worst was has been left behind, so investors are anticipating a survey on a consumer confidence. The Consumer Sentiment Index is expected to show minor improvement in the business conditions. Analysts project the index to edge up to 101 per points in December from 100.2 a month ago. Investors are also looking forward to personal spending data for November, which is due on Friday. The US dollar index traded steadily in the New York pre market and briefly topped the level of 104 points. The index shed 0.08% to trade at 103.80. The Internet Canada is in between 103 and 50 and 104.30. 
Well, if in the market boost on a Tuesday, currency pairs uh, are gaining ground today. The US dollar index is on a track to its steepest quarterly fall since late 2010. Until now, the greenback could rally on its advantage over the yen to extend its rally. The Bank of Japan caused some disturbance turbans in the financial markets, the tight connection between Japan's monetary policy and the US treasuries will also bring some changes. The US dollar lacks any support due to the lack of comments from the Fed policymakers and due to uncertain market sentiment. Investors reckon that the US dollar's stunning rally is fading. From now on, the odds are that the US dollar index could begin its steady decline. Anyway, while the US dollar is trying to regain its footing, the intraday dynamic will depend on the US Consumer Confidence Index. The USD card pay is trading sluggishly intraday at around 1.36, and the Luni could find support today. The intraday character for the currency pay is defined between 1.3560 and 1.3640. Oil prices rallied on Wednesday after the industry data showed sharper than expected contraction in the US crude inventories. The oil rally is subdued by growing concern over demand in China and the blizzard which is expected to hit the United States. Brand futures climbed 1.8% and WTI futures added 2.17%. Apart from oil prices, the Canadian dollar could get a second wind to meet fresh inflation data. The annual inflation rate in Canada inched down to 6.8% in November, a downtick from a 6.9% in the previous months. The reading is slightly higher than the consensus of 6.7%. The red hot CPI represents the lowest rate since March. Meanwhile, the crypto market is still trading flat. Popular tokens are oscillating quietly and willing to break beyond the day ranges. Bitcoin shed 0.35 intraday and is now trading at $16,880. Altcoins are trading lower. The news on the crypto industry does not arouse optimism. Core Scientific, one of the largest publicly, publicly traded um, companies in the United States, said on a Wednesday that it filed bankruptcy protection. The company is not going to terminate its business uh, and wants to operate in the normal routine because it aims to make a restructure agreement with its lenders. All in all, the overall information background remains very gloomy. Bitcoin is expected to trade in the intraday range between $16,600 and $17,000. Insta Forex wishes you can full trading and see you online tomorrow.